and welcome to Villa Eucalyptu and uh, the name obviously gives a, a reference to this uh, eucalyptus lined driveway at the moment okay so let me explain this is a very interesting uh, product which you know I need to explain to you about a bit of the history of it so basically the current entrance comes obviously from down below here we have a farm down below and it has an electric gate on and that's the current entrance. Now the current owner is in uh, talks with uh, installing a new uh, access route across this field here, which connects to a current uh, Passara track. Okay, so basically the price that we're gonna be talking about includes the work and the track with Passara and, and rocks to obviously retain the, the soil. That's the current price, okay? Obviously, if you're willing to take the property on with the current access, then obviously the owner is willing to reduce considerably the price, which you can obviously negotiate with us. Okay, so, beautiful position. It's north end of Lake Vimwella. Um, You've got a really nice sized plot up to this hedge here. Okay, you've got gated entrance with the Chino stones laid down at the moment. Nice palm trees along the, the back there. There's a, a vin, a kind of yeah, small orchard uh, and vine just on that uh, wooden pergola there. Um, the work has been done to the property. Uh, the pool has been completely reformed. Uh, very good, nice condition now. You've got brand new lights, new pump, everything. Uh, it's a one level property, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. Plus it's got this, it's not a garage. It's a store unit at the back beyond my car there. Um, you got double glazed windows. There's four new air conditioning units been put in. Um, it still needs a degree of updating, I should say. Um, but I want to take you a walk around. So obviously you can see here, new terrace has been laid. You've got the drainage here, drainage tiles, but that's quite a nice modern looking pool. Brand new um, shower in there as well. Pump room is in that unit there. Okay, and you're gonna see in a minute just the extent of the position of this plot okay because we got lake views mountain views all day sunshine all new terrace here you can see um obviously that's an old just a fire feature there old balustrade that could obviously be sorted out but you've got some really nice big palms in gardens have kind of been taken back but minimal and then if you look at that that at the moment obviously again the lake is is low at the moment but when that comes up You've got a really nice lake view. You've got 100% privacy, very quiet, minimal, minimal noise from the road there, um, which obviously a lot of the uh, properties get in this area. But you've got quite an interesting property. Uh, like I say, it's, it's one level, four bed, three bath, pool. Uh, there's a uh, utility. There's uh, the covered terrace with the arches, plus the temporary covered terrace there off, that comes directly off the lounge and the kitchen. Um, you got automatic shutters on the off the the lounge there. This nice kind of tower, okay. This is a brick tower. Again, something could be done. I think there's I'm pretty certain there's a flat roof up the top there, and that honestly would have fantastic views. Um, it's yeah, it's got a lot of scope, okay. Um, so this is the boundary here where we have the Hollyander, but you've got that view is yours, okay. Um, obviously regarding the farm that was here before the, the houses were uh, there are animals there is noise to a degree um, and you know at the end of the day we are in the countryside of Andalusia so that's uh, normally part and parcel okay so I'm gonna walk all the way around um, to give you a better idea um, so yeah again that's these are bedrooms here we've got the master bedroom on this end here and they're all good sized rooms. That's a little filter in there, I believe. And then this is the storage unit I mentioned. So it's a, a container, but a proper, proper secure container. And, and obviously, you know, that's been used when they were building the house. Great for storage. Obviously a lot of people are converting them now into uh, sort of usable storage space. There you got um, a water depositor. Okay, it's the blue, the blue unit there. You got your log store and here we walk back around to the parking area which is ample you've got ample parking you know you've got this nice retaining wall at the back again that could be covered for shade you've got all the iron work there ready to go okay there's no one behind okay so that's a very important point 
Okay, so in through a UPVC front door and into a large hallway. Now, a lot of these, again, modern villas don't normally have that sort of space. Okay, so this is obviously allows a lot more lighting, it allows more storage, and you come through an archway into your lounge diner, which again, it's got the vaulted ceilings, it's got that nice kind of uh, feature window there, brand new AC unit in, there's your windows with that view. You just see that there. That's pretty amazing. Um, and you've got an open uh, fire at the moment, but that's obviously, it is a proper chimney all the way up to the top. And uh, again, you know, floor tiles, yes, you're probably going to update them, but it's pointless the owner doing it now. It's probably going to lay, lay down the wrong tiles for whoever's going to buy the property. Um, okay, so we've got a circular kitchen. Now, I've never seen one of these before. Uh, it's got a circular granite worktops and central uh, table in the middle. Um, again, it could be upgraded. You could upgrade the doors and keep the tops because obviously that is worth X amount. But you've got that view from your kind of work surface. Um, and you've got appliances in, there's plenty of storage. And also you've got access to this nice covered terrace here, which has the guttering and obviously has the view. Okay. So uh, this is an interesting property, guys. I, I'm, I'm quite uh, intrigued to see what activity we're going to get off it. Um, we All we know is that obviously these locations and plot sizes and builds have gone up in value uh, over the last sort of two, three years. And... Uh, you know, obviously people are upgrading these properties because they're now kind of hitting 20, 25 years old, some of them. Okay, so we are going to go to the master bedroom, okay? So master bedroom's got patio doors out onto nice covered terrace with the arches. Uh, again, there's massive look wardrobe space there. Uh, you're probably going to want to, yeah, upgrade the doors again. Furniture really is here. It has been rented recently, um, but furniture is just here to give you a, a bit of perspective really, to be honest. So this is the ensuite with a shower. Um, again, slight upgrades on, yeah, making it a, a larger walk-in shower. Um, the windows are all oversized, to be honest, and you've got B-Day in and storage around the corner as well. Okay, so the master bedroom's on that side, left wing, let's say. So to the right here, we've got a uh, general big and spacious bathroom with bath and shower. Okay, so you've got corner shower in there, full-size bath, and then B-Day, toilet, and new sink. Again, the tiles, probably gonna want replacing, um, but they certainly fit a purpose for now. Okay, so this is bedroom number two, um, done as a twin, it's big, it's big enough for a double or a king if you want. Uh, again, nice view from here. And again, fitted uh, wardrobes and air conditioning unit is fitted. Okay, so uh, quite an interesting one. So this is number three. Again, it's a double. This is at the back of the property, so not such good views here. This is the only bedroom that doesn't have great views, to be honest, out of the four. And then Finally, this is the master, where honestly, this is a big, big room. Okay, so I think originally this may have been the garage. Uh, they obviously had it converted. But again, you've got windows to the front of the property, and you've got an ensuite with a shower, rectangular shower, sink, and separate toilet there. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I think uh, this property is uh, going to certainly draw quite a degree of activity. Um, the asking price at the moment is €445,000. Okay, taking into account the size of the build and also the, the location. Okay, the views, the location, the access will be upgraded. So it will be a much, much better access. Um, or there is that possible to negotiate uh, the current access, which is through the farm below. Okay, guys, so if you want further information, then obviously contact us directly on 0034 
696-522-171 or indeed view the website at villasolutions.net. Thank you.